Daniel in Wisconsin and the other callers, I'm very sorry. Uh, we've, we've run out of time, but we're going to take Daniel. Uh, you, Daniel, you want to talk about genocide in the Bible? Is that correct? That's correct. So what what, what in particular did you want to talk about? Uh, well, first of all, let me apologize for being, I must have been pretty rude last week uh, for I, I have not to hang up on me like that. Okay, well, we we weren't there. No. Nope. So. Oh, oh, actually, I was. <laughs> oh, were you? Yeah, you were there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you were there. What, was he rude, Don? I don't. Re- I don't remember anybody being rude yesterday, last time. So. <laughs> yeah, but, I, I didn't. But I'm over fifty, so you know, it's memory's memory's bad. <laughs> it was uh, when I brought up giants in the Bible. Oh. That up on me. Does that refresh oh. your memory a little bit? Yes, it does. The nep- it does. The Nephilim. <laughs> yeah. With the sons of God coming down and mating with the daughters of man. Yeah, well, it's it's a just so story, right? We're, it it is it's uh it's trying to get around the incest thing, I think. Anyway, okay, um, <laughs> but I feel like you guys are being a little intellectually dishonest when it comes to the genocide you keep talking about in the Bible. That's leading people to believe that that God is somehow unjustifiably just killing off. So, entire- how about how about Noah's flood? Is that is that a genocide? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, was it was it justified? Uh, why, was it why was, was the it, earth flooded? Uh, because God fucked up and he he didn't like what he created, and so he decided to wipe the slate clean. I don't agree with that at all. I believe it's because the people were incredibly evil, even all their thoughts were evil and wicked. The Bible says. Do you, and do you think that the unborn babies in the wombs of the women who were were killed were were also evil? Or just collateral damage. I think, I think God is outside of, you know, our thoughts and knew that they would grow up to be evil just like their parents. Well, if that was the like case, didn't he family. know before he created this first set that they were going to be evil and he was going to have to wipe the slate clean in the first place? Of course. So that, <laughs> po- that points to a few inefficiencies, um, a few... Um, um, How so? Because I believe that points to the fact that um, eventually the world was going to be saved just like how Noah and his family were saved through Jesus Christ, of course. Yeah. And that's a good system to go for, to create something that you know is going to become problematic, that you know is going to reach a certain end, but still say, you know what, that's the best I've got. Let's just go with this and we'll flood the earth and we'll uh, you know, try again, even though you know where it's going to go. It's... It seems a bit far-fetched, I guess, to say the least, to say that this is the best that um, this being could come up with um, on this side. I mean, I, I don't take, of course, the Bible literally in, in any slightest yeah. Yeah. hand of the word, but um, that seems a pretty bad way to go about creating life. But, you know, maybe his ways are just, you know, way beyond what I can comprehend. But, you know, we can right, that is we can do a little we can mind. do a little yeah. better on the yeah. Sims. Like we can we can yeah. you know take. I, I take can do better. Look. It's just like that's, <laughs> that's, that's does that make me better, better than, than your God? Yeah. I think it does. <laughs> like because if I know if I'm creating you know this entire this entire world this universe this species and I know that these bad things are going to happen, I'm going to have to punish these beings that I've created. I can see all these actions that may make me take two steps back to say, you know what, I need to re- re-examine what I'm doing. Something about how I'm setting this up is leading to this. What am I doing wrong or should I even do this at all if this is going to be the result? You know, it's, you know, having compassion for, you know, these creations that you're making. If you can't even have that compassion and you have the foresight to see all this stuff that's coming down the pike, if you can't even take the time to uh, look at that and stop and take stock of what you're doing, then we kind of have a problem with that thought process and decision making. Were these people not warned to turn away from their evil? Did he not know that they were going to ignore that warning and still proceeded with the creation anyway? Well, they have free will. Well, they totally have free will, but what if... What kind of love is outside of free will? Well, the love that that, love that wouldn't lead uh, that wouldn't lead someone to create a beings just to punish them later, knowing that was going to be the case. That isn't love to me. It's just certainly not something that I would do with my creation. Disobey doesn't mean they had to disobey. Well, no, they didn't have to disobey. But if you're setting up the entire system 
including the like you're setting up the entire framework, their creation, the punishment, the reward, the entire system, you're responsible for that, especially if you have the foresight and knowledge of what's coming down the pike in the first place and you still decide, yes, we're going to still move ahead with this lovely plan, even though it's going to lead me to torture millions of my own creations, eh, you know, it's still fine. Now, that's yeah, that's something I would definitely have a problem with. Child sin. I'm sorry? Is a father responsible for his child's sins? No. For his child's disobedience, for his child's evil? No, not on that side. But if you had the but foresight... That child was a product of, of but, the sexual right. intercourse with his mother. But he didn't uh, actually create, number one, the entire system. He didn't have the foresight to know exactly what that being would do versus someone that made the entire thing from scratch as far as the understanding goes. That's a whole different dynamic than somebody having birth, as millions of animals around the world do all the time, and is uh, holding them responsible for the actions of their offspring. That's a whole different thing than literally I'm going to make the rules, the system, and all the characters in between, knowing exactly what they're going to do, and then proceeding down the pike anyway. But anyway. How do we know that God didn't choose to not know? How do we know that God existed at <laughs> okay. all? <laughs> well, now, now, now we're now we're off in in crazy a little bit, but you know, <laughs> but we reached the end no. of the show. Well, anyway, yeah, Daniel, so. thank thank you for your call. Uh, you're welcome to call again. <laughs> um, but we're going to end end the show.